chronology of primary teeth. Between the 6th and 8th months, babies are like little explorers. This marks the start of teething, a time when babbling turns into chomping. The first primary tooth to appear during this period is the mandibular central incisor. By the 8th to 12th month, these little explorers begin mimicking speech and non-speech sounds. An important factor in this phase is the development of the maxillary central incisors. Just about a month later, the chomping crew gets bigger, with the maxillary lateral incisors joining in. Babbles begin to sound like actual words, such as mama and dada, between the 10th and 16th month, when the mandibular lateral incisors join in, just in time for the first birthday party. Now that the mushy cake phase is all done, it's time for real food. Between the 13th and 18th month, the baby's chompers are ready for solids, thereby welcoming the first maxillary and mandibular molars. Between 16 and 22 months, the maxillary canine makes an entry, just when the baby is set to feed himself. No more mushy purees. It's all biting and tearing at this point. A month later, the mandibular canine erupts. Here, it is important to note that after these teeth have erupted, the process takes a break. Finally, the maxillary second molar appears between 23 and 31 months, while the mandibular second molar appears between 25 and 33 months. Therefore, by the third birthday, the child now has a full set of primary teeth, can talk in sentences, and also make food choices based on their vibrant colours. The visual in front of you summarises the eruption of primary teeth. Feel free to take a screenshot. The present chronology followed is by Lunt and Law. But did you know? The chronology of human dentition by Logan and Cronfeld in 1933 was accepted for years and then continued by Krauss and Jordan in 1965 and Nomata in 1964. Let us now learn 